Hi everybody, it's Miss Dorothy from Room 4 here. The kids at school have been learning about a topic called the 1970s. You weren't even born in the 1970s. It was a long time ago, but it was kind of a fun decade. So we're going to read this little book about things that were going on during the 1970s. Let's see, it says the fashion, the clothes and stuff of the 1970s was dominated by bell-bottom pants, flowing maxi dresses, ponchos, and frayed jeans. The tie-dye style from the 60s continued into the 70s, while patchwork and plaid increased in popularity. Wow, I remember wearing some um, bell-bottom pants. They were the big thing. What else can we learn about? This page says, during the 1970s, the quality of commercial programming on TV improved a lot. With the emergence of cable TV, the most popular programs of the decade included All in the Family, Sanford and Son, Good Times, The Jeffersons, Happy Days, and The Brady Bunch. Do you or your mom remember any of those shows? So Saturday morning cartoons prove great entertainment for children. What else happened? It says radio technology also advanced during this decade. Previously, most radio programs came over the AM band, but as popularity of music on the radio increased, stations started using the FM band. The FM band, which offered much higher sound quality, was the dominant band by the end of the decade. Wow, so yeah, a lot of people, they didn't listen to music on their phones. They listened to music on the radio. Oh, and let's see, this page says, the popularity of the record player increased during the 60s and 70s when turntables provided stereo playback were released. Direct Drive also debuted in the early 1970s. Here, the record sat on top of a drive motor that spun around, uh, which helped with less parts needing to be replaced or repaired, though it did increase the purchase price. So the 70s were the golden era for all things vinyl, um, though due to the popularity of cassettes, then CDs, records didn't last long. But a lot of people still have some records at home somewhere in their house. Oh, and there's a picture of an old-fashioned phone here. Do you remember those kind of phones? It says the touch tone or push button phone replaced the rotary dial phone in the 1970s. People loved the push button feature and the way this phone made making a call so much easier. Other conveniences such as button redial and auto dial were also introduced during the 70s. Another feature during this decade included different colored phones, oh, I remember that, that could be coordinated with the color of your walls at home called home decor, as well as different versions such as trim line or sleek versions of the telephone. Wow, that was cool. Oh, this page talks about platform shoes. So platform shoes were all the rage in the 1970s. With thick heels and tall soles, these shoes were the perfect complement to the bell bottoms. Disco lovers indulged in these party sandals and shoes, using them to gain attention on the dance floor. Some of these shoes were covered in glitter and had tiny lights on them and even had tiny aquariums inside their heels. Whoa, I don't remember that. But 
they were a lot of fun. They were hard to walk in, though. And here we go. Here's the last thing we're going to learn about today. Does anybody at home remember pet rocks? Pet rocks, a rock with two googly eyes, were extremely popular during the 70s. These smooth stones, marketed as pets, were the idea of Gary Ross doll. The pet rock came in a box with air holes for the rock to breathe through, as well as an instruction pamphlet that contained feeding instructions. This pet rock fad lasted about six months, ending in December of 1975. Wow, so those are all some things that were very popular during the 1970s. We're having fun kind of making things that go along with that, listening to songs from the 70s. So when you're at home, you can have somebody help you look up songs from the 1970s and kind of groove along to those fun songs. Thanks for being great listeners today. Talk to you again soon. Bye.